Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby and Sundays are my favorite day to reset, refresh, and just get ready for the week ahead. Whether you're joining me to find cleaning motivation or simply because you like watching cleaning routines, I'm so excited to have you here. So thank you for being here. Today I'm going to take you through a full Sunday reset of my home. I'll be cleaning different rooms and organizing as best I can throughout this video. Um, my whole goal is just to create a more peaceful and stress-free environment going into the week ahead. So get comfortable, grab your cleaning supplies, and let's dive into the Sunday reset together. Please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Alright, let's get going.
as my family was finishing up breakfast, we then were going to go out and go to Ikea to get my son a new bed frame, so that's why you're going to see me looking slightly different. <laughs> but we just took a quick break and then as soon as we got back, I got right back into cleaning the kitchen and just continuing with my routine. I don't know if you can tell, but I am very sunburnt. We spent the day prior to this going to the beach, and while it was super fun, we definitely did not reapply sunscreen like we should have, so I am definitely feeling it, especially now more than ever, but that's okay. We had a great time. Um, we usually spend our weekends like on Saturday and Friday night together just trying to soak up our time, and then Sunday is when I typically go in and do a big, big clean trying to get everything back in order for the week ahead so that things go smoothly with work and my kids' school and so that we don't have to do too much. Um, just trying to maintain and then we do it all over again the next week.
We have a trip planned to Disney World in October and my kids have been loving watching the Disney World walkthrough tours <laughs> so we have been watching those over and over again. Um, it's been helpful so hopefully we have a lay of the land when we get there since we have never been there as a family. Um, so we are excited for that but that is what you would see on the TV is the ending of a walkthrough video that my kids were watching earlier. Something I like to do is keep a basket by my side as I move from room to room throughout my cleaning routine. This will help whenever I find like my kids' random toys or anything that is in a location where it doesn't belong. I just throw it in the basket and then once I'm done cleaning my entire house, I'll take that basket and I'll go return all the items to their designated home. This helps me stay way more on track than, you know, moving room to room back and forth and then forgetting what I was doing. This just keeps it way more organized, way more convenient, and I can just put it all in one location and return it at the very end. So right now you can see that I am cleaning our lizard's cage. His name is Ragnar. Usually my husband is the designated cleaner of this cage. That was our agreement. Uh, to be able to have Ragnar because um, I just didn't want an extra thing to have to clean um, But I'm just picking up the exterior. He's still the one that cleans the interior for Ragnar when it's needed um, We do need to find a stand for this because we DIY'd his cage So we need a better place to set it for right now though The sitting on the floor works for us and it's you know kind of easy to access and feed him when we need it As you can see, there are boxes in that corner too. One of them is full of cloth diapers that I am currently working on posting and selling on my Mercari. So if you're interested in that, I will leave that in the description box. I have a bunch of cute prints. I, Whenever I was cloth diapering, I went kind of wild <laughs> there for a little bit. So I have a ton of diapers that need sold. And then the other box is just baby clothes that I need to go through, see if there's any that I want to keep in store or if I just want to sell or donate majority of them. It's just finding the time to do that. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, but that is on my to-do list at some point.
We lived in an RV for about eight months before moving into this house and one of the big things we were super excited about was the shower when we were moving in here just because it's the biggest shower that we have ever had so we're super excited but I will say the one like con about it is that ledge um, the water from the shower spout just goes straight onto it and it just accumulates there and kind of sits. I don't know, it doesn't really roll off like it should, so it's just something I have to be extra cautious of when I'm cleaning my shower and how often I'm cleaning it so it doesn't get too nasty there, but yeah, you know, pros and cons. So to clean the bottom of my shower and even like in the bathtubs and stuff like that when I'm cleaning those, this is what I've been doing is utilizing just this like one to five dollar little broom and I'll put some dish soap in there and then I'll scrub it really good and that's what I've been doing. I don't know if it's my preferred way to do it so if you have any tips below in the comments on what you usually do let me know. I used to just, you know, spray it and wipe it with my hands or like have like a handheld scrub brush. That was not ideal. So this seemed like a more like quick and efficient way to do it. But I also don't know if it's my prefer preferable way. So I'm always looking to for suggestions if you have them. Since this is just a reset too, I'm not going super like in depth cleaning on my shower. When I do, I could honestly spend a good hour here or hour and a half cleaning the shower if I wanted to. If I went like in depth in depth, like with, you know, getting every crook and cranny, but this is just to reset and get ready for the week.
We are moving on to the laundry room. Like many, this is a huge catch-all for anything and absolutely everything. There is no rhythm. It is all chaos and all madness over here. So I'm just trying to organize that a little bit, make it a little bit more spacious and make a little bit more sense uh, moving forward. So this week it'll be easier <laughs> to handle. I'm on an island in your room. You're like the sky sand behind the blue. I'm thinking about you, and I'm thinking about you. All the things we could do if I was so bad enough. And so you met my friend. This We are now moving into Louie's room and as you can see him and Lincoln have had a lot of fun coloring on the walls and adding their own little piece to the room. They are no longer allowed to have markers and crowns in the room due to this but here they are it stays for the moment. Me and Shane need to go get some paint to cover it. I just don't know if I want to do the same color that is on the walls or maybe do something different that more aligns with the theming of the room right now but we shall see. But right now the crown and the coloring stays and it is a part of the room as decor. <laughs>
we are now moving on to the laundry portion of the day. And as you can see, I got a little bit cold, so I decided to throw on a sweater. With laundry, do you guys separate your whites from your colors? I used to way back in the day, but at one point, I just decided to throw them all in together and noticed that nothing changed. It made no difference whatsoever. So let me know below what you guys do. Now I am taking those baskets that I was talking about that I would put all the miscellaneous items in and I'm going from room to room and returning those items back to the home in which they belong. So I'm starting now here with where I just put my makeup area and then going to the bathroom and just moving on from room to room from there. Now the sheets for our bed are all clean and ready to be put back on so we can lay down and relax. So I decided to enlist the help of my husband, who <laughs> is sort of helping. I don't know. It's debatable, but um, it makes it a lot easier because doing it alone is a full-on workout. I'm sure some of you can completely understand how difficult it can be to do sheets, specifically duvet covers, on the bed all of them so he was here to help thankfully <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this Sunday reset and found it inspiring to start your week on a clean note. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips and routines. Let me know in the comments below how you do your Sunday reset, if you do one, or what what is your routine look like. I want to know. Thanks for watching and have a great week ahead. See you guys next time. Bye.